This video will show you how to use a Quick Cal Calibration Kit to calibrate a Chemtrack TC007 turbidity meter. Let's start by taking a look at the various items that come with the calibration kit. Don't forget to confirm the part number of the calibration kit matches the order and that it also matches the measurement cell it will calibrate. The calibration kit will come with a number of documents. The first document being a certificate of analysis for the liquid calibration standards. The second document is a safety data sheet for the Formazine calibration standards. The calibration kit comes with a laminated set of instructions that detail how to perform the calibration. The next item is a plastic measurement cell insert that is matched to the size and type of measurement cell it will calibrate. A lid is used to prevent external light from interfering with the calibration. The calibration kit will contain three seal vials of Formazine calibration standard that are matched to the size and type of cell being calibrated. The concentration of Formazine in the vials is 20, 100 and 800 Formazine turbidity units or FTU. Before performing a calibration, it is necessary to clean the sapphire optical windows using a suitable solvent. After cleaning, make sure the windows are thoroughly dry and dust free. Once dry, place the measurement cell insert in the measurement cell. Start the calibration by entering the Product Config menu on the analyzer, then select Quick Cal. The calibration will start by zeroing the analyzer using the empty measurement cell insert. The first calibration standard will be 20 FTU. To ensure the standard is dispersed, invert 10 times before placing in the holder. Do not shake the standard as this will introduce air bubbles which will interfere with the measurement. Clean the vial then place in the holder. Wait a couple of seconds for the signal to stabilize. Then press tick to begin sampling. To ensure a good measurement, the analyzer samples 20 seconds of readings. During this time, you can start inverting the next calibration standard, which will be 100 FTU. When complete, confirm the measurement, then place the 100 FTU calibration standard in the holder and repeat the procedure. The final standard will be 800 FTU. The analyzer will now ask for the calibration standard concentrations to be confirmed. In this case, they will be 0, 20, 100, 
and 800 FTU. The final parameter is the geometry factor, which matches the type and size of measurement cell to the calibration. The calibration certificate supplied with the analyzer can be used to confirm the geometry factor. Now the calibration is completed. It is essential to always validate a calibration once complete. Do this by simply placing the vials back in the holder and confirm the measured values are correct. Our recommendation is to validate an instrument first, as in many cases, the instrument will not need recalibrating. 